Oh my God, why is this so hard? Hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. I have another exciting Integrity Toys doll to share with you guys today. Last week, I ended up doing an IGTV review because I was not able to film and edit and put up a you know, full length video here. If you guys missed that, make sure to click down below in my description box and head on over to my Instagram page and it's saved there on the IGTV tab. We took a look at the beautiful young romantic Poppy Parker. She's actually sitting back there, if you can see. She also is from the IT um, convention collection from last year. Absolutely gorgeous, so, so pretty, very simple, very darling. Um, has like an interesting kind of Grecian Roman thing going on as well. Make sure you guys check down below and head on over to my Instagram page and check that video out. Before we continue with today's video, I do have to remind you guys that this video is made and intended for adult doll collectors 18 years and above. It is not intended or created for children. None of my content that I create here on YouTube is for children. Sorry about that, kids. It's all created for adult doll collectors who are fashion savvy, into dolls, into collectibles, etc., etc. And my space here is a meeting place for all of us to come enjoy, talk, discuss, etc. If you are under the age of 18, and you really really want to watch this video please make sure that you have a parent or a guardian with you in the room with you at all times while you are watching this video that way you guys don't get in trouble and I don't get in trouble with YouTube and I can go about making fun doll content for us to enjoy all right so today we're gonna to be taking a look at a Poppy Parker doll um, you guys know that I'm absolutely gaga for Poppy and I think I have successfully converted some of you over to the dark side. <laughs> We're gonna be taking a look at Love is Blue Poppy Parker. She's from the 2019 IT convention. I am very excited to have her because she happens to be a color variation of my beloved Miss Amore Poppy Parker from the Bonbon bon collection from a couple of years ago. David Buttry redid a couple of dolls that he loved from previous collections that I think, you know, probably sold pretty well and were uh, popular. And I know that the Bonbon bon collection was really popular because I loved it and I think many of us did as well. I'm definitely someone who loves color variations. I, you know, do in doll fashion and in real life. Like if I see something in like five colors, girl, I got it. <laughs> she is in the standard IT convention box from last year with the Fashion Week 19 logo right here. The back of the box has all the company information on it and the insert here is in pink. I think one of you guys told me that the insert color um, varied by the doll and I had actually thought that it varied by the fashions they were wearing but this would make more sense because last week's Poppy also had this bright pink underneath and um, this, ba this babe does as well and we all know that she's not wearing pink finally got this lid open okay ready one two and three. <gasps> oh my god God. Oh my God, beautiful, wow, <gasps> you guys. So Miss Amore actually came in a pretty big box, like a wide box, and her dress was displayed really beautifully. I do wish that they would have done that for her as well. It seems wrong that they've, like, that they've just mashed this, this beautiful big gown into this box, but I think what uh, this means is that she does not have a crinoline um, underneath her dress. Miss Amore did have a pretty big um, underskirt slash crinoline. Uh, it does not look like Love is Blue does here. And I was wondering about that from the promo photos. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> she is absolutely beautiful. Look at that gorgeous face. Oh my God, as always, we love Poppy's face. Really, really simple and neutral makeup, which I have to say I really like. Um, I was half expecting her to have like turquoise eyeshadow or something to kind of go with this dress, but I kind of like that she doesn't, right? Um, very similar hairdo to Miss Amore, like a beautiful high chignon here in the back. And then the dress looks very, very similar. I mean, so beautiful with these teeny tiny little um, ruffled details here on the bodice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the accessory pack here. And this poppy actually happens to be high heeled. Miss Amore is flat footed, so I am so excited to see her shoes. All right, I'm gonna quick, quickly here pull the dress out. Yeah, there we go. So that's why they squeezed her into this small box. Oh my God, though, look at this gorgeous lighting. Oh, this color. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I love this color so much. This is probably one of my absolute favorite colors ever. Oh, 
Poppy. <laughs> One, two, and three. <gasps> oh, look at these shoes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Beautiful, beautiful high heel shoes here. A really sweet Dorsey pump. And it looks like they have little bows in the front. And they actually look a little bit more green than her dress. Interesting. Same for her bag here. Um, sweet little uh, clutch purse with a silver rosette detail on here. It's exactly the same purse as Miss Amore's, but in this beautiful soft turquoise color. Love, gorgeous. And then here is her jewelry suite. That too is the same as Miss Amore's. I recognize these earrings very, very well. These stones are quite blue, actually. Um, the same cuff in silver instead of gold with the little blue stones and then a big beautiful ring in that blue stone as well. Oh my God, gorgeous, love her. Okay, time to get Poppy out of the box. So she lifts out of her carton just like so and then underneath that we see her beautiful certificate of authenticity right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. And then right here in the back, she is tied down with white ribbons as per usual, Mr. QC or Mrs. QC or Ms. QC 22. <laughs> and then right down here, we see her beautiful silver doll stand. This is the special doll stand that they did for the um, convention last year. I have mentioned this in a few of my other videos um, or all of my 2019 convention videos that I don't love this base very much. It's very, very lightweight. It is very pretty, however, and um, for all of you um, of my buddies that continue to ask me about the doll stands that I use, uh, especially back here in my two cases, all my Silkstones have Fashion Royalty doll stands, and that's basically the same setup, um, but this is, the base is in like a heavy white or clear Lucite. Um, this is like plastic, and you can actually feel and hear that. And I just, I don't love it because it's just not heavy and the doll tends to slip on this. Whereas on the Lucite ones, um, or plexiglass or whatever it is, I think it's Lucite, um, it uh, just kind of has a, like a nice grip to it, you know? So anyway, they are still beautiful. And the nice thing about these stands is they kind of reflect upwards. So if the doll's wearing anything metallic, it really, really is very pretty. And, and if you guys are interested in picking up some of these stands, they actually have um, they're selling them in like a six pack, I think they are, on Integrity's website. So go check them out in case you are in the market for uh, my favorite doll stand. Let's go ahead and get Poppy out of here. Oh my God, I am obsessed with how beautiful this skirt feels. I wish you guys could feel this. <gasps> couture, darling, couture. Do you hear the silica gel? <laughs> That's these two packets back here. That's what these little vents lead to. Uh, this is, of course, the relatively new box design that Integrity started doing a couple of years ago, maybe like two years ago, one year, last year, two years ago, something like that. But um, yeah, it's quite lovely. And I think many of you uh, who live in tropical countries where, you know, the humidity is high or even just down in the south, I guess, um, the silica gel definitely helps. <gasps> Ta-da! Yay! Oh my god, this is so pretty. Oh, and you know what I love? The dress is actually longer than her feet. See? Oh, I love that. The one thing that really kind of bugged me about Miss Amour was that when you put her on the stand, the dress lifts up like this, and you can see her little feet underneath there. It was almost like this, you know? Um, obviously, like I said, this poppy has high-heeled feet, but I love that the dress actually comes down and covers her feet. That's how a ball gown should be, in my opinion. Huh. Um, okay, so I'm just noticing something. There are what appear to be little pen marks uh, all the way down the front of her dress. It's kind of disappointing <laughs> actually i'm like wait is that pen that's pen right are you seeing that it's like right um down the center of the skirt there there are little like blue dots sitting on the fabric and that is that those are pen marks so that's bizarre and odd i don't know what that will be doing there but um, i'm gonna have to 
figure something out here. I'm gonna try not to be bummed out because I was so, so looking forward to receiving this doll and taking her out of the box finally. I definitely like her without the crinoline. I think I may have even taken the crinoline out of Miss Amore's because I like the way the dress fell better. Oh my God, you guys, this color is so pretty. She does have knee guards on here as well, just like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out. And then she does have a white hairnet here. So let's go ahead and lift that off carefully. Uh, her hair is very gelled, like very, very helmety gelled. And is her hair black? Yeah, wow, it is black, okay. Um, yeah, it's that same ponytail that's like tied here and then pulled up and then tucked underneath. Very interesting. I feel like there are some like raw edges on the ruffles here that are slightly coming undone, which I don't mind. I think it kind of adds to the overall, you know, look of the gown, kind of like very like McQueen oyster dress. But I don't remember that happening in the other doll. So perhaps small de design elements that, you know, they did differently. Oh, I see. Oh, interesting. It looks like the uh, fabric that is sitting underneath this top layer of organza is this beautiful kind of soft seafoam color. That's why her shoes were in that. Oh, interesting, interesting. Here is Love is Blue, Poppy Parker, fully dressed in all of her beautiful little accessories for you guys to see. And obviously, you guys, she is magnificent. I just love these big ruffled gowns. I know that they're a little bit passe at this point, but when she first came out, they were very much, you know, revived in fashion. Um, the way the gown or the skirt portion falls kind of covers up that front center seam a little bit because as we talked about earlier there are those little blue ink stains on there very disappointing indeed i am in fact going to get a hold of them to see what we can do about that because i mean come on what the age right um right so she really is magnificent though i'm so so excited to add her to my collection i love her super soft and subtle makeup you can actually see the little silver pin here um, that is kind of constructing her hairstyle. I just noticed that as well. Love the jewelry, of course, big oversized jewelry. Um, same exact construction from what I remember of Miss Amore, that beautiful black bow at the center with the white flower. Lots of beautiful ruffle detail there at the top. There is her little clutch and her bracelet and her ring. Oh my God, she's so pretty, she's so pretty. And here are her beautiful little shoes on her. Uh, they are little high-heeled pumps with a little dorset on the inside of the shoe and they have little bows on them. Just so beautiful. She does have hose on as well. And I tell you what, you guys, this skirt just feels so lush and thick and just very, 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 very couture-like. And then here she is from the back. We see the little halter neck there closes with a little bugle bead. Um, I remember Miss Amore having the same detail, obviously. And then we see the closures there. We see the, the belt comes off and is its own separate piece, beautiful. Let's really carefully get Poppy's gown off here so that we can get a closer look at the internal details. You guys know I live for that, live for that. Okay, so her belt comes off just like so. So, oh, I remember her dress being very tight and this one's very tight too. All right, so it opens up here in the back and I'm gonna be very careful here with the uh, bugle bead and halter portion because I actually remember this being very delicate in the other doll as well. The little bugle bead comes off just like so, releasing the halter portion of the gown and then she comes out just like this, ta-da! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Here is Love is Blue Poppy Parker in the buff so that you guys can get a better look at her darling little pee, -pee physique. She has the same poppy body that we have seen in all of our poppy dolls, especially recently. The only difference being that she is in the high, he uh, high heel foot mold or really leg mold from here to here is the difference. But I've seen a lot of high-heeled Poppy recently because I think they have realized that we all love them. Her face is absolutely magic, as always. I have yet to see a Poppy that I didn't love. I love that in this lighting, her blush just kind of very gently kind of just flushes out. I absolutely love that. Really, really digging this neutral makeup for sure. 
and I think it's a really nice compliment to the coloring of the jewelry and the dress. It's not super matchy matchy. Her sister in pink had a much more vivid pink lip. Um, but yeah, really beautiful cat eye with a very pronounced, gorgeous winged eyeliner detail there. She does have applied lashes there, you can see from the side. Beautiful, nice dark eyebrow to complement her gorgeous black hair. Very, very simple nude flushed lip there. Oh my god, gorgeous. And then she has like light brownish kind of eyes side glancing eyes these earrings i love i actually ended up wearing um her sister's purpley lavendery ones just out one night <laughs> with an earring back of my own and it was so fun they are legit like human scale earrings and i'm here for it i generally don't love human scale earrings on dolls because i think it looks too oversized and funny but something about this just i love so much but it's a really really pretty um, soft very watery kind of blue color on a silver backing there as you can see gorgeous and then when we scroll down we see her little bracelet detail there it's that gorgeous heavy cuff bracelet that you have to take her little hand off to put on and off we see little blue stones on there in the same color as the earrings and then here on her right hand is her gorgeous solitaire ring uh, just a beautiful ring. I love these big chunks of jewels that Integrity does. Oh, so gorgeous. And then she does have pantyhose on as well. They are the style of pantyhose that we have seen in all IT dolls. Um, very reminiscent of what our beloved Silkstones wear. We see the line that goes down the back of her leg there. And then she does have a sweet little manicure and a little pedicure here, as you can see through her tights. Poppy's little feet are just so adorable. Like the toes actually like are molded separately, like they're um, sculpted separately. So I just find that detail so, so cute. She's really at the tippy toes of her little feetsies too. <laughs> and then here she is from the back. Absolutely lovely. Again, nothing too different in terms of body composition, but she does articulate here at the shoulder, here at the elbow, of course, here at the hands. She does not come with any interchangeable hands. These are her only hands that she comes with, but all the same, um, beautiful option as well. Uh, her head moves around like so. She moves under her bust here, and then she does not have articulation here at the waist, but she does have a little belly button, and then she kicks out with her leg just like so. She bends her knee in half and then goes back as just like so. Um, the range of motion is um, much further, but I don't want to push that because I don't want this seam here on her pantyhose to pop. But if you've seen any of my other Poppy Parker videos, you know that the range of motion on these dolls is absolutely exquisite. And, um, you know, I know that many of you guys who love to redress and pose your dolls adore these articulated bodies for that very reason. Here is her magnificent gown. Oh my God, oh my God. For those of you who love classic fashions, classic ball gowns on your dolls, here you go. Nothing trendy or street style here, honey. Well, except for the blue pen marks, and yes, please don't leave a million comments about them. I know they're there, and I will get them taken care of. But all the same, um, really, really beautiful gown. I love this on the other doll, as I've said a million times before. I love it even more on her because of the color. This happens to be like one of my absolute favorite, favorite colors. It is a halter blouse uh, with uh, the beautiful little bugle bead detail here that closes here right behind her neck. The bodice portion here has some really beautiful raw edged ruffle detail there. Three strips going down either side of her bust. And then there at center front, we see that um, top stitched row of fabric sitting there with the little bugle beads on it to kind of give the indication of buttons. It's the same bugle bead. Actually, it's not. It's a little bit different, but it's a little bit smaller of a bugle bead that's here on the neck closure right there. We see a little thread loop that is um, catching the bugle bead on the other side. And then that same row of fabric down center front is what we see going all the way down the skirt with the same little bugle bead detail every few inches or so. The bodice is multiple layers of fabric. Well, I mean, the whole thing actually is. Uh, the very top fabric is this beautiful blue organza, which is what the ruffles are made of as well. And then underneath that, we see a really pretty kind of silky satin fabric in that soft sea foamy turquoise color. So the two colors come together to create this really beautiful effect. And oh my God, I love this so much. Oh, it makes me emotional. It's so beautiful. I love it. 
Uh, oh, there we go. We actually see the variations in colors right here at the top. How beautiful is that craftsmanship, you guys? Wow, wow, wow. The whole thing is lined in that really beautiful kind of uh, oceany blue, robin's egg blue kind of silk. And that's what we're seeing here on the underside of the skirt as well. And then next to that, we see that really beautiful, oh, here we go. Ta-da, that sea foamy, uh, soft kind of turquoisey color satin right there. And then we see the layer of blue organza right there. Lovely, look at all that detail. So it's actually two layers. The bodice is two layers of organza, one underneath and one on the top with all these other little details on there. Look at all the little panels that are coming together here to create this piece. Oh my God, gorgeous. Oh God. This craftsmanship just always just gets me, it just gets me. It's so magical. Look how beautiful that seam is. Like this is exactly how it's supposed to be done. So when you're looking at this from the front, you don't see any sort of seam detail because it's all caught perfectly right here on the inside. Oh my God. <laughs> And then we see there at the waist where the bodice portion meets uh, the skirt portion, lovely. And then we see one, two, three, four silver hooks here. And then little thread loops here on the other side to catch that. And then a little facing here as well, of course. I mean, just magical, magical craftsmanship. I'm always in, in awe of these beautiful dresses and pieces that they make. And then here at the bottom of the skirt, uh, there we go. We see her little IT tag on the inside. It appears to be like a half circle skirt kind of pattern. Um, and then it just feels so, so luxe, you guys. And I think it's because we're seeing three layers of fabric right here. We see the lining, and then we see that uh, beautiful silky turquoise seafoam fabric. And then we see the top um, organza fabric with all the uh, ruffles stitched onto it. So three layers here. It literally feels like a really, really nice, uh, like a blanket or a comforter. <laughs> Just rich and luxe and beautiful. Oh, love it. Here is her sweet little belt. It's a black silk belt with a pre-tied black bow and a little white raw edge rose. Definitely has like a very Chanel Camellia feel to it, which I love, love, love so much. And then it closes here in the back with a silver hook and a complementing thread loop there on the other side. Here are her magnificent little shoes. They are the standard Poppy Parker heel in that they are very much Barbie size, itty bitty and so, so darling. There is a dorset opening there on one side of the shoe so that we can see her heel. There is a beautiful little bow there that is sort of sitting at the top of the toe box there. The insole is also fabric. It's that same beautiful soft sea foamy color. The heel actually is painted in that same color. The outsole is painted in that gorgeous cream color. Here is her sweet little clutch purse. It is in that same beautiful sea foamy silk fabric. And there is a little silver rosette detail here that the sister doll of her I think had it in gold. Of course, the uh, flap opens with a little silver snap there, and then it does kind of accordion out if you can get your fingers in there to open it, but uh, yeah. And the inside is lined in that really pretty blue fabric that her um, gown is in, but it's actually like in a faux leather fabric. So details, details, details. You can tell, I tell you what, there's one thing you can always count on integrity for, and that is just the level of detail they put into their craftsmanship. Lovely. Okay, wanted you guys to see the two girls side by side. This is one of my doll cases, and there is um, plexiglass on top of this. So, pardon the glare, but yeah, very, very similar, like very similar. Coloring obviously is different, but the dress is basically the same. Looks like Miss Amore's rose was in pink and Love is Blues is in white. Uh, looks like the same purse, maybe a slightly different silhouette, but the same rosette on top, the same uh, big bracelet. And obviously Miss Amore had her little um, perfume bottle and our blue babe here does not. She has the same ring on her finger, same stone, same earrings, same earrings, same hairdo, same hairdo. 
Yeah, the only difference is that she is flat-footed. I don't know if we can see her feet there. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> And obviously this babe is high heeled. So yeah, you guys, I'm really excited to put these two side by side. It's gonna be so gorgeous. So there we have it, guys. This is the beautiful Love is Blue Poppy Parker from the 2019 Integrity Toys Convention Collection. She is obviously magnificent. She's a color variation of a doll that we have seen before from a couple of years ago. She is so, so exquisite. I love, love, love the blue coloring and all the little details. I, like I said earlier in the video, I'm such a sucker for color variations, whether it's in doll fashion or in real life fashion. So I, of course, am obsessed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell icon after the subscribe button and that way you guys will be notified every Thursday when I upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram. I'm at SureshNY. That's generally where I post all my updates, including my IGTV review videos, which I think I'm gonna start doing more of because it was relatively easy to do, pretty fun. And I have so many dolls that I have not yet gotten to unbox. And I'm thinking that that might be a fun way for us to add a few more doll videos into the week. Comment down below and let me know if you like that idea. And until I see you guys again, Poppy and I are headed on over to Benaroya Hall. We are on our way to a fabulous concert this evening. We're gonna meet up with some friends, have a few cocktails. Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses for me and Poppy here in Seattle. Mwah. And I'll see you guys again next Thursday for another video, okay? Bye.